Okay, so we're gonna work over the basics of teaching the dog to stay. Now, I would recommend you go to YouTube. There's, uh, if you search teaching your dog the perfect stay, this is where I got the technique from. This will give you more, that'll give you, watching that video will give you more, that will give you the highlights. So I have a handful of treats in this hand. I have one treat in this hand. So what I do is I put the dog in a sit first, and again, I would have a towel so he knows where to stay. 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 So that was three seconds. Stay. Stay. Five seconds. Stay. Stay. So as you can see, it's not very hard for him to do this. He's just sitting there and waiting and watching me. We want to go by five second increments is what I usually suggest, but you can do any increment that you want. But you want to keep on practicing this until you get to the point where he can stay for like a minute, two minute, three minutes. See, he would normally stay if you were that close to him. The sure. problem is if you're across the room. Well, that's the first step. So after we get him, get up to like about three minutes with him staying there, this is the, the, the outline of, of what we want to do. Then what we do is stay. 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 Up. So he brought, he self-released. So I'm not going to reward him for that. So I pushed from three seconds to 10 seconds. That was too much for him. He couldn't handle it. So stay. Stay. So that was five seconds. Let's see if we can get up to 10. Stay. Stay. Break. So you have to always give him a break. I usually like to go like this, break. Put my hand, I always give a hand signal at the same time. Then we just walk away and then he can do whatever he wants to do. Mm -hmm. um, so again, focus on the duration first. Most people make a mistake. They get up to 20 seconds. They think, well, that's good enough. It's not good enough. We get up to the point where it's like two or three minutes. And this is something you should do in just short intervals. Maybe try to do it when all the kids are asleep. You have a couple quiet minutes. It's only a minute or two at a time. Whoops. Come here, buddy. It. Um, but the idea is to get him just practicing staying when you're right there so there's no need for him to, to want to go away. Then we want to gradually move away. Then eventually we'll, the third stage is we do it at first, like right now the room is quiet. There's nothing going on. Mm -hmm. Then we want to do it with the TV on a little bit. Then we want to do it with the TV on and, when you, and your son moving around or playing quietly in the corner. Oh, no, that do doesn't it? happen. <laughs> no. That's, that's, that's yeah. beyond, uh, yes, yeah. I do the dog psychology, yeah. not the human psychology. But eventually we want to gradually ramp up the distraction because that's life. You're going to have the TV going and you're going to have kids crying mm -hmm. and then think, you know, an argument going in the background. We want him to be able to stay under those circumstances. Now, asking him to go to, his, uh, to the shack and stay without teaching and helping him practice the stay is putting him in position to fail. Right. So what I would do is make, you guys, make a commitment that we're going to practice the stay, both of us, twice a day at least with the dog. And first day, maybe it's just, you know, a couple, you know, get up to 20 seconds and, and each. Then you get up to 40 and then you get up to a minute. So at the end of the week, you can have him stay while you're right there for both of you where he's staying for like three minutes. Then when you start stepping away, what I did was, was really ab abbreviated. When I start moving away after we've practiced for a week just staying with the no distance, then it's easy for him. He's already got the, the parameters of what's going on. And then, you, then we, once we get to the point where he can be several feet away or beyond line of sight, then we start doing it where we start moving away while we build in the distractions. Sit. Sit. And I delayed there because his energy was a little bit high. I, wanted, mm. I don't want to reward. That's the other thing is if he's excited and we pet him, and this has nothing to do with a stay, but since we're filming, we'll continue. Whatever he is doing when we pet him is what we're rewarding. So if you come home and he's all excited and jumping up on you, you're telling him this is the way to get the humans to pet you is by being excited. So what I do is I start to pet. As soon as he gets excited like that, I pull my hand away. Second time, I make it a little bit closer. And then eventually I can get down and I can pet. 
So, but he has to understand the only way I'm gonna get what I want is by him being completely calm. Because you said he's like he's calm most of the time. Mm -hmm. It's that times when there's less stimulation going on, that's when he loses control. So practice that in the times when you come home. It's natural for us to come home and we're it's we're, we're all narcissists a little bit. It's nice to come home and somebody freaks out that you came home. It's nice to feel desired. Mm -hmm. But if we if we pet him, we're nurturing that. So same thing if he's nervous. If we pet him and say, it's okay, the thunderstorm's just, it's okay. We're making the dog engage that neuros, uh, neurosis. Boy, are you a good looking dog. Yes, you are. Uh, uh, uh. That doesn't get you the treat though. Sit. 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 So that time I kept him in a sit, petted him, and then gave him a treat afterwards. Mm -hmm. But I think for him, really more than anything else, is going to be control. So adding more control and more by having structure, petting him with the purpose, and practicing things like the stay. So eventually, if he's being a pain and you have to deal with the kid, you can put him in a stay, and he goes and stays there, and he's not allowed to leave until you give him the break. When you establish that, man, that's there's really very very little else that you can have that'll be that'll make you as happy. So that's a summary of how to teach the stay as well as some other stuff.